Hello and welcome to PropTech Buzz. This is Ravi, founder CEO of uh, PropTech Buzz. It's been two months already since we launched PropTech Buzz and uh, it fills me with pride to share all the successes that we have witnessed in such short span of time, just eight weeks. PropTech Buzz is a new age digital marketing, media and community platform for a global PropTech industry and it helps launch, promote and give eyeballs to PropTech products, prop tech companies, and the leadership on the global stage. Within eight weeks, we have launched over 180 products from around the globe, and we have been able to give them a massive eyeballs. More than close to 40,000 visitors have visited uh, our platform already. We have had close to 2,000 registered members on our platform. And you know what? We have achieved all of that with zero marketing dollars. We have not spent a penny, and we have gotten that. And uh, in the days to come, obviously, we'll, we'll be doing marketing and these numbers are going to shoot through the roof. Out of these 2,000 registered members, we have given uh, VIP access to around 80 of them and uh, they are growing. These VIPs are primarily founders, CEOs and uh, people of eminence who have contributed to the PropTech industry. Uh, yes, we are building the world's only private network of global PropTech leaders. They're all vetted, verified. Here's a sneak peek. We are also building a global media portal to tell stories on prop tech products, prop tech businesses and founders from across the globe. We will do the big reveal next week again. While a lot has been happening on the platform, we are here to share with you the biggest news of all, revealing our newest vertical the PropTech Buzz Lab. But before I share about what PropTech Buzz Labs is, let me reveal the big surprise through this video. PropTech Buzz welcomes Scott Petronis into its leadership as head of PropTech Buzz Labs. In his role with PropTech Buzz Labs, Scott will lead our team dedicated to product incubator, building an idea from MVP to product launch, and U.S. market entry, making established tech in other markets competitive in the U.S. market. In addition to his collaboration with PropTech Buzz Labs, Scott is founder and principal of Centric Consulting, a senior advisor with real estate mergers and acquisitions company, REMA, and has served on the Real Estate Standards Organization Board of Directors. He has also worked as Chief Product and Technology Officer for real estate tech companies including Inside Real Estate, Redefy, EXP Realty and Onboard Informatics where he's helped build products, teams and brand new concepts from the ground up. Scott has nearly 30 years of technology experience and maintains a focus on the business of technology, whether that's finding the most cost-effective ways to build and deliver products or identifying operational improvements to help teams break through their log jams. It's this range of experience that allows Scott to assist PropTech Buzz clients across a broad spectrum. Scott and the PropTech Buzz Labs team will leverage their exceptional experience to thoroughly analyze and prepare your technology for U.S. market launch. When it comes to finding the right market fit, understanding the U.S. consumer, technological requirements of the U.S. market, and introduction to U.S. clientele, there's no one better than PropTech Buzz Labs. We're thrilled to have Scott on board. So, as you can imagine, we couldn't have found a more deserving and accomplished individual than Scott to lead PropTech Buzz Labs. So, Scott, welcome to PropTech Buzz team. Uh, tell me a little bit about what made you interested in joining PropTech Buzz. What made me interested in, in uh, being a part of PropTech Buzz and PropTech Buzz Labs is the opportunity to work with innovative companies that are using cutting edge technology to solve some of the most important problems on the planet. You know, what wouldn't be fun about that? I will say, uh, I'm I'm at a point in my life where it's uh, I definitely want to work with things that are fun and that are enjoyable and also to be able to apply you know the background and skills and knowledge that I've been able to gain over the past 30 years of working not just in technology but in you know real estate technology for a good portion of that so um, the fact that you've been able to bring together companies of a common thread uh, with common goals with common challenges around this space and the fact that you know when you say the words uh, you know, prop tech. The reality is uh, that means so many different things. And, you know, being a part of how do you define those things? How do you define what prop tech is? How do you define what success is for those companies? How do you help companies succeed where they may have struggled? And probably more importantly, how do you introduce the world to, to some of these things that um, are, are, you know, were kernels of ideas just months ago that are now um, on the global stage, thanks to prop tech buzz? Yeah, Scott, that was, that was wonderful. Uh... 
Louis and now uh, let me uh, hand over to Cameron, our chief US advisor, to talk to Scott and reveal to the world what PropTech Buzz Labs is all about. Hey, thanks, Ravi. Uh, you know, honestly, just to put it simply, PropTech Buzz Labs answers the biggest need for prop tech companies, how can we succeed in the US market? The US real estate market is the largest asset class on the planet. Many companies have found out the hard way. It's not an easy market to get into successfully. So we've identified three areas where we can leverage our expertise, mine, Scott's, and our team's expertise in the US market. One is uh, US market incubator, ideate and build a US minimum viable product. Two is US market entry, this is where you have an existing product successful in other parts of the world and you want to bring it to the U.S. market. And then third is referral services. We can help you locate the right kind of tech staff to help you build your product in the U.S. market. Now, each of these areas requires significant expertise, both in the U.S. market and also very highly specific technical knowledge. So our collaboration with Scott is just a recognition of his extraordinary expertise and also as a well-known and very highly respected veteran of U.S. PropTech and a friend. So Scott, why don't you share a little bit about the challenges that you've seen facing U.S. companies in the U.S. market and also for companies looking to get into the U.S. market from abroad. How do you help them build a competitive MVP or leverage their existing product that may be succeeding somewhere else and needs to get traction in the U.S.? Thanks, Cameron. And thanks, Ravi. First off, I'm, I couldn't be more excited uh, to be involved in something like this, given not just how exciting PropTech Buzz is and what you guys have accomplished so rapidly, but also um, when you think about how investment in prop tech has just skyrocketed around the world. And there are so many incredible companies in the U.S. already, but frankly, um, there are probably three to five times that uh, in other places around the world that are looking to break into this market. So Cameron, to answer your question about you know some of those struggles, I and frankly that you and I have seen related to getting into the U.S. market um, or North American market, let's say. Uh, first and foremost, I don't need to tell you, there are significant complexities in the, the U.S. real estate market. Um, and in general, you know, I will say there are companies that are deeply involved in the market on a day-to-day -day basis today that don't understand all the complexities. It's not an easy market to understand, not an easy uh, set of requirements to uncover. And so I see a lot of companies struggle uh, to navigate that those complexities. And so that's one of the areas that certainly we, uh, we have not just the capacity, but uh, the background and knowledge to, to help with. I will say the second thing that is, you know, maybe it's not entirely unique to the North American market, but frankly, it is, uh, it's pretty intense is the competitive landscape. There are literally hundreds of companies that are providing prop tech and real estate tech products in the market. Those hundreds of companies have sometimes dozens of products. And so, you know, there are conceivably a thousand plus products that are flung at people on a day-to-day -day basis. Understanding that, right? Understanding what the, what does that competitive landscape look like? It's, it's difficult if you're coming from anywhere outside of this market and you don't really get and understand what that competitive landscape looks like. Um, and not just the companies that exist today, but, you know, we keep track of the companies that have gone right? The companies that have, you know, succeeded for a year and then, are, you know, ran out of money. There's a lot of that that's occurred. Um, and it's just as important to understand the successes as it is the failures to be able to, to avoid some of those, those challenges. And then the last thing I'll say in terms of, you know, the challenges that, that we've seen, and again, you know, probably preaching to the choir, uh, when I talk to you about this, Cameron, is what I like to call a rational exuberance, right? I can't tell you how many pitches, how many pitch decks, how many companies I've seen come and go that have the, you know, all I need to get is N percent of Y million people to buy my product. And this is going to be a billion dollar company. I hate to say it, but there are very few billion dollar market cap prop tech companies uh, in North America. Hopefully, you know, one of the companies or more <laughs> that we assist will be the next one. Um, but the reality is there are a lot of things uh, that are, are kind of going against you. Most folks come into this market, you know, looking at the massive numbers and the size of the market, but not necessarily understanding and realizing what churn rates look like and what it really takes to 
meet the market, to grow adoption, to keep adoption, to keep people happy, to scale their business. You know, it's those few struggles and plenty of others, but, uh, you know, those three key areas of, you know, understanding the the, the climate in the market and uh, the, the various underpinnings of it, understanding the competitive landscape and, you know, what's worked and what hasn't, and then, you know, truly appreciating what it takes to succeed. Those are the things that, um, you know, we can help folks with and, you know, frankly, be, be honest. Um, you know, we can tell companies if, if they're going to, you know, if and how they could be successful, as well as, you know, what to look out for and, you know, what their greater challenges are going to be and, and be, you know, really forthright and honest about what the chances are there. So I get excited about that stuff because I love helping companies uh, as much as, you know, seeing success. I also like to help people avoid the pitfalls. Scott, one of the challenges that uh, you and I have encountered is when a company or a product works great in a marketplace outside of the U.S. and then they want to enter the U.S., but because of the specifics of the U.S. market, it's a challenge. They require some some edits or changes or knowledge or, you know, maybe a combination of those things. And, uh, you know, bringing you onto the team is just going to be a fantastic addition to help companies understand all that upfront before they take the time, resources, money, to jump into the U.S. market and then find it's a lot harder than it looks after they've already spent a lot of time, money, and effort. So it's great to have you on board. Do you have any just, you know, conclusion statements that you want to offer to our listeners? Yeah, well, I, I echo your, you know, your sentiment. It's great to learn from experience and, you know, but at the same time, it's also, you know, very beneficial to learn from other people's experience when you can, especially when that experience is, you know, is seeing those, those trials and tribulations tribulations and dare I say failures, you know, if you can leverage other people's experience and knowledge and know-how and, um, you know, find, you know, I don't want to say that there are shortcuts, right? Because that minimizes what it takes for success. But the reality is you can avoid those pitfalls and shortcomings. Um, and that's, you know, ultimately what, what we can help people do. And, you know, what I would say is, the first step in any successful uh, market entry is truly understanding what that market has to bring to you in terms of opportunity, as well as what are your risks. Um, because the last thing you want to do is go in, you know, without eyes wide open and, you know, miss step where, you know, you could have avoided it. And unfortunately, I've seen a number of these, even just recently, uh, companies that have, you know, entered the market and, you know, have exited almost as quickly as they entered. That's never good for company, the employees, the investors, or, or anyone involved. And, you know, it's avoidable. So that's what, you know, I, I hope to help. I know that you're uh, committed to it. I know that Ravi is committed to it, given what he's already accomplished with helping so many companies around the world today. So uh, as I said, I couldn't be more excited to be a part of that, to be a part of, of helping companies succeed. That's great. Uh, Scott, welcome aboard. And uh, just to recap, so PropTech Buzz Labs, we are talking about product incubation for an existing product in the US or the idea for a product. We're talking about US market entry for an existing product outside the US who wants to come into the US and we're talking about referrals, you know, bringing the expertise to the table via PropTech Buzz Labs and your experience and your connections throughout the industry to help companies do that. So just as a reminder, in addition to PropTech Buzz Labs, PropTech Buzz will continue to expand our suite of offerings, which also include premium marketing to the PropTech community, if you are in the marketplace and you want to sell your tech and you want to talk about your product to the marketplace, talk to us. Email me at Cameron at PropTechBuzz.com. Ravi, any last words? Sure, Cameron. By virtue of leading PropTech Buzz globally, I meet founders almost every day. They could be early stage founders, late stage, and most often than not, they have USA as a future plan. And uh, they're too overwhelmed to pursue that idea immediately because it's too, too big a plan for them. And as a result, they are not maximizing their potential. And also, uh, that's the reason because they push it off. The, the, that plan, that US plan always remains a distant future. And one of the things that we are doing is educating the founders to think global from day one and accelerate their expansion plans easily with partners like us. So do check out our website for more information. And uh, yeah, write to Cameron, write to Scott or me at ravi at Thank you. Mm -hmm.